All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kahakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well, and salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, this is your brother Yahweh Allah from JMS Chicago coming at you with another lesson. All right, and in this video, I want to go into the point of um, men taking control. Uh, uh, of their households, man, taking authority uh, of their households, man. All right, and that's a you know a, a, a sensitive or touchy topic here in uh, Babylon in this kingdom. All right, because uh, the woman you know has been given authority you know over a man. Okay, uh, you know women have been put on, on pedestals to the point where um, you know you have um, you know. M uh, you know, women, you know, uh, thinking, uh, looking down on men and thinking that they're the prize, man. But according to the scriptures, um, that is completely not the case. All right. And, and you know, and ultimately it's it's the Lord that uh, created this place. He's uh, the one that gave us life. He gave, he gave us our children. All right. He gives us our daily bread. All right. And he's going to come back and, and uh, execute and establish his judgment, you know, and he's going to put his order upon the world. All right. And he's going to, um, you know, come and save those that were trying to seek his, his vibration. All right. So this goes for, for men, you know, uh, going and, uh, you know, um, uh, and fighting for, for their, uh, for their authority, you know, uh, in their households or with women in general. All right. And for the women, you know, to not uh, exert their authority over a man, okay? Because it's all through the scriptures and Lord willing, you know, I'm going to try to uh, go through these scriptures. Uh, they'll be, uh, you know, quick and edifying, all right? This is uh, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. All right. So straight out the Bible in the New Testament, you know, everybody likes to call on so excuse me, on so-called Jesus. Right. Um, and this is after after his coming. All right. After his teachings. All right. Uh, um, you know, the, the scriptures continue to to push forward the vib vibration of a, a, a of a man being over a woman. Actually, if we read up. um we read, I'm going to start at verse one. It says, be ye followers of followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. All right. The anointed. It says, for I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I have, I will have, you know, that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is God. All right. So there's an order in this thing. All right. So, you know, uh, this, you know, so straight out the bat in the New Testament, it lets you know the order. Starting from our top is the, he the heavenly father, then his anointed son. All right. Then it's men and then it's women. All right. As we read here in verse nine, it says that the woman was created for the man, not the man. Uh, 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 for the woman, all right, and that's what a lot of women nowadays have, uh, um, you know, uh, messed up in their head is that they think that their man is is theirs. It's like that's my, like that's that uh, that they say that's my man in the sense of him being your property, and you the one tell him you know what to do, what to get you, you know, which you know a, a man according to the scriptures. Um, you know, uh, you're just not supposed to uh, diminish food or raiment, and you gotta, uh, uh, you know, give them their um, their due benevolence, which, um, you know, that comes in in, uh, in sexual relations, right? You know, when they need it, you know, um, you know, when they want it, you know. But those are the things that we're supposed to give them. Aside from that, we're not supposed to give our power over them, um, in the sense of whatever they say goes, right? Uh, and as we read more scriptures, we're gonna uh, it's gonna explain that uh, a bit better. All right. So if we go to the uh, the first book of the Bible. Uh, this is Genesis chapter three, 
and verse 16, all right? This is after the woman went and um, ate, ate of that forbidden fruit, right? It says unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. So it says, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. All right, so that's the righteous order, is that the the, the woman, you know, uh, they desire their, their man, all right, they, they be after his heart, which, you know, a lot of women are, are naturally like this. Um, you know, if uh, if uh, if the man is a basketball player, the woman's going to love basketball. You know, if uh, the man's a Muslim, uh, the woman's going to be a Muslim, you know, uh, you know, so forth and so forth, man. Uh, you know, that's that's naturally how, how it is. And, and the man got to rule over them, man. Uh, you, you know, they can't be, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, tucking, tucking their tail, you know, behind, behind their butts, man. You know, they have to, uh, uh, uh make the decisions in the family, you know, and, uh, you know, that's not to say that, you know, the woman doesn't have no say, you know, she, she can give a suggestion, right? She can, you know, uh, try to, you know, um, you know, uh, advise something, you know, in the way that they should go. But ultimately the, the man has to make the decision whether that's right or whether it's wrong. And the woman got to be able to accept it when, uh, uh, when the man says that, that it's wrong, that that's not the way that they're going to go. All right. Um, you know, but again, you know, sometimes they might have a good idea, you know, but uh, again, it's up to the man to say that, you know, okay, we're going to do that. All right. But, in this society, that's not how it is, you know. So, you know, um, this, you know, this, uh, this place called uh, Mystery Babylon, all right, Babylon meaning confusion, all right. So it, everything's out of course, man. And you know, with the coming of the Lord, He says He's coming back with fire, all right. So when He comes back, we want to be in His vibration, man. We want to be in under His order, all right. So, so you know, we, <laughs> so then He won't have to correct you, you know, to get an order then. Right, and it's a, it's a, at that point it's gonna be too late, man. All right, uh, that that fire is gonna come for you. All right, those that 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 um despise the ways of the Lord, you know they're gonna get judged, man. All right, and this is just one topic, you know, but but it's very important that a man shall have should have uh, authority over his family, man, and not yield it, you know, uh, to his woman or his children. All right. Because that's a lot of families are like that too. They'll do whatever the children want, you know, because they're crying. You know, either their woman is crying or, or their or their uh, sons and daughters are crying. They they give heed, you know, and 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 just go after some folly, man, you know, just just for the sake of, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, pleasing them. All right, but at the end of the day, you know, they can suggest things, but the man got be. The one with the authority to say yes or no. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. This First Peter chapter three, um, and verse five. It says, "Now after this manner in the old times, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands." Man, and that's part of trusting the Most High too, man. All right, trusting that 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 that, that their husband. You know, which a woman should be looking for a man of the Lord, man, because that's ultimately how they're going to get protection. The scripture says they're going to be ch uh, saved by childbearing. All right. And and it, uh, and it talks to the, to the men in Acts. It says uh, how they should know if they should save themselves and their families, man. All right. So the woman's going to get saved through the man. They should be looking for a man uh, 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 other scriptures. All right. And, you know, and if they are already with men, you know, just let, let that woman get right and, you know, Pray into the most high, fast, do what she got to do, and, and maybe her man will wake up too, you know, and then and then ultimately through her con uh, conversation and character, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, will save her husband, man, by having him repent and come into the truth, by seeing her good character and good works, all right, but, um, you know. Uh, but that's the thing going back to this point, uh, you know, they got to, tr uh, that's the thing of, of trusting the most high, all right, whether they're going to be protected still, or do they feel like they need to take, uh, hands, uh, uh, control into their own hands, man. All right. Which that's what a lot of women do nowadays. You know, they self justify themselves and take matters into their own hands, you know, when it shouldn't be so. All right. Verse six, look at even as Sarah obeyed Abraham calling him Lord, 
All right, which one? Which woman nowadays will call their their man Lord, man? You know, it, it, it seems like it's from another world, and truly it is, man. Because this world is it, it, um, it's strange, man. This, you know, this place is completely ass backwards. All right, that's why the Lord's coming back with fire. He's to hit the reset button on this place, man. All right, shit gonna be uh, things are gonna be set up anew. All right. It says, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. It says, likewise, ye husband dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. And that's the point, man. A lot of women, you know, that they, they, they'll get emotional and, and make decisions, rash decisions out, out of their, uh, you know, um, their emotions, man. All right. Be, being weaker vessels, man. All right. You know, physically, uh, they are as well, too. You know, you know, as, as a majority, you know, women have a, a, a you know, they're more feeble uh, physically. man. All right. It says, and being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered, man. So you got to give, you know, um, you know, honor unto your wife uh, as unto the weaker vessel. Like, um, you know, also understanding that, you know, they're not going to be perfect. So, you know, um you know, you show uh, a certain level of mercy when they go off, you know, like, uh, you know, scripture talk about not being a lion in your own home, like constantly, like, you know, um, you know, rebuking for every little uh, thing that they do wrong. You know, of course, you're going to, you know, uh, correct your woman and, and, and show her where she's going off. But, you know, uh, if, uh, you know, he's, he tells us it's a demon that, you know, she's struggling with. Then you show her mercy, but continue to push her in the right direction, you know, um, you know, because they're a weaker vessel, man, you know, which um, which shows, you know, uh, that the man should be over her, you know, filtering her, her thought process, filtering her decision making, you know, to lead so that you can lead them in the right way. All right. Which which, uh, you know, that in turn means that you have to be on point um, as well to be able to to advise uh, correctly, man. All right. But the, but the women, they got to be faithful, man. Trusting the most high, you know, uh, that, that, um, that, that the most high now lead them into the way of destruction, man. All right. Let's keep going. Um, you know, Sirach chapter seven and verse 25, it says, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly even of foolishness and madness, all right? So, you know, this is King Solomon, you know, um, uh, uh, speaking about wisdom, like knowing the do-how of all things, throughout correct decision-making, making, reasoning, all right, wisdom, all right? And even, even the folly he looked at. In verse 26, look, look at what he found. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. If you look at the word snare, it means um, a hunting implement. A net, right? Give me a second. It's a lock. Yeah, I have to get the door. But yeah, if we go into the word um, snares, it says uh, a, a hunting implement, uh, a net, a trap, pretty much, man. All right? Uh, and, and the net, you know, uh, same thing, man. You know, uh, a net, you know, pretty much talking about traps, man. It says, who, who, who so pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by, by her. And that's what uh, women, a lot of women, you know, uh, 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 the majority of women, at how they act today, man. Their, their heart, which you go into the word heart, it's the Hebrew word lab, which means their mind. All right. Their, their inner, their inner uh, being. Right. You know, their, their, their mind. Um, and what do women do? They, um, you know. They uh they're highly manipulative, man. All right, they are they go out there in, in the in the in the world, all right, looking to see what what man they can seduce to to gain control over him, man. You know, and have him uh, head over heels for her so that you know what what she, she can um you know uh, uh get things out of him, man. You know, and and, and um and that's not the structure that a, a wholesome uh relationship should be in, man. You know, a man shouldn't be, um, you know, at the drop of a dime, you know, ready, you know, to do everything and anything for for their woman, man. No, they got to filter it out 
through uh, the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, whether the things uh, uh, that she want, uh, 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 you know, uh, are correct, man. All right. You know, and he got to have that authority. So I'm going to keep going. It says, uh, so he found that uh, in the folly, the folly and the foolishness tip, but seeking wisdom, verse 27, it says, behold, this I have found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among those have I not found. So the rate of, of, of you know, <laughs> of a woman, you know, holding some type of, of knowledge or having some type of understanding, you know, is more than one in a thousand, man. All right. Which we, we read like Sarah, you know, she she was uh, showing a good character and calling her man Lord. All right. Excuse me. It's so like you had to take a call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Try and get in, in the, uh, into this lesson. I'm going to keep finding it. There it goes again. All right, so continuing on here. Um, so we read verse 26, but the women, you know, nowadays, they try to get control over their man. All right. Um, you know, being highly manipulative. All right. You know, that's a, that's a demon on these women, man. And, you know, these women kind of consciously give that shit up, man. All right. Um, you know, stop trying to have that authority over their man. All right. It says, um, so verse 27, behold, this have I found, say the preacher counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found that God had man made man upright, but they sought out many inventions. All right. So, you know, wisdom was given unto, unto the men, uh, uh, you know, of the most high, as it is written, the flock of my pasture are men. All right. That's in Ezekiel. Um, you know, uh, in the book of Ezekiel, right? Um, I want to say the 35th chapter, the 34th chapter, um, you know, w w one of those, <laughs> you know, you have to search for that. All right. But, you know, nevertheless, you know, um, the, the, the Lord does hold uh, a man to a higher standard. All right. And then if we go into the book of Sirach, chapter 33, is uh, verse 21, it says, For better it is, no, excuse me, uh, 19, it says, Give not thy son and wife, all right? So your wife, your woman, you're not supposed to give, it says, read it again, Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. It says, For as long as thou livest and has breath in thee, Give not thyself over to any, you know, and this is not saying, and this is not saying for you to be unruly, you know, but what it's saying, you know, as a, as a man standpoint is that you got to make your own decisions, man. All right. You can't just, you know, uh, give yourself your, 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 your uh, ability or your power to uh, make a decision to anybody, man, to, you know, you, you have to make your own decision um, at the end of the day. And if you're a man of the Lord, you know, which that's the whole duty of man is to seek the Lord and, and keep his commandments, then you're going to have to make those decisions based on uh, the law, statutes and commandments and the spirit of the most high, man. All right. So, you know, um, you know, brother in the faith, you know, he can be giving you counsel uh, coming, you know, from the scriptures that is of the spirit and is correct. And in those cases, of course, you're going to take it. Same thing with the son, if he's in the spirit, if the wife is in the spirit, or a friend if he's in the spirit, you know, but you have to make that conscious decision in your head, whether if it's right or it's wrong, you know, that's why you got to study to show yourself approved so that you can tell these things, all right, but you're not supposed to give up your power, like just give it up unto your woman, all right, and, and we just read the order, you know, the woman, how much more the woman being uh, under you, man, who's supposed to be in subjection. All right, how are you going to give her your power, man? All right. Um, verse 21 says, For better it is that thy children should seek to thee than thou shouldest stand to their courtesy, like looking after them, ten tending after them, being a waiter unto them. All right. So, so yeah, man, you, you, you know, you don't supposed to be a servant 
unto your, you know, your, your son, your, your wife, you know, um, you know, uh, give yourself over to them like that, man. You know, you're supposed to, uh, you, you're the one that's supposed to have the authority, man, the say so and, uh, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding to, to, to push that, uh, your, that family unit in the spirit of your, how about shimmy out shy, man. All right. I think I've got another one here. This is uh, second, first Ezra, chapter four, and uh, in twenty six it says, "Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes, man. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. All right." So that that's what ultimately was going to come happening if you end up becoming a servant unto your woman, you're going to be given up to to the flesh. You're going to be given up to desires. All right, you you're going to be given up to sin, man. Because women they love to be be comfortable, man. You know, uh, you know, and um, and and then there's truth. You know, you gotta you know fight for things uh, that that is against the flesh, man. You gotta fight to be in the spirit, man. Which sometimes you know. Uh, 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 to do the right thing is the uncomfortable decision, all right, you know, but these women, you know, the, look at the wife of Job, man, if Job was a servant unto his woman, what did his woman say, uh, when he was getting the boils, when he was getting, you know, uh, plagued, his woman said, curse the most high and die, man, and he was a servant unto her, then he wouldn't have made it, man, but because he held his own, he, he didn't give his power over to her, all right, and stood and st uh, st uh, kept his integrity unto the Most High, you know, as a man. All right, he he he, he was given uh, uh uh uh, you know um, you know he 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 was given double, man. All right, he was recompensed uh, uh you know for he was recompensed uh, with goodly things, man. Afterwards, he was found blessed. All right, so let's keep going here. Um, kind of, this is the last precept here. So like it went a little bit longer than intended, but you know, uh, Satan kept coming in the mist. <laughs> this is uh, the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, excuse me, verse 12 and, and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, not the commandments of your woman or your, or your children. Or, or or the you know um, vain commandments of other men you know but you know of course in this truth you're going to be taught by men men of the lord all right you know but uh, uh, um you know how the scripture says have not confidence in a guide you gotta look it up for yourself man whether these things be true man and, and i'll tell you right now you know that the men of great millstone starting from apostle to har on down are the men of the Lord, man, and they have the breakdowns to the scriptures, man, in the righteous balance, man. Okay. So, so, um, but all that to say, you know, be persuaded in your own mind, you know, to fear the Lord and keep his commandments, man, for this is the whole duty of man. So a man, you know, and women, you know, the manipulative demons that, that they can be, you know, that what do they say? Oh, be a man. When they're trying to manipulate you to do something, they say, be a man, be a man. You know, when they, you know, being a woman, what would they know about being a man? The scriptures tells us the whole duty of a man, when you, to really be a man, is you got to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. For that's the whole duty of man. It says, for God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, man. And, you, you know, and what you want when the Lord comes back for judgment is that your uh your works be good, man? All right, you know that you know you strove uh, uh unto death for the for the truth, for righteousness. All right, and sought the Lord, man. Kept his fear, you know, and, and sought to the best of your abilities to keep his commandments. You know, not you know going behind your woman's tail, man. That's a message for for Yasharala, for all Israel, you so-called Latinos, uh, so-called Negroes, so-called Native Americans, you know. To get the control and the authority of your of your of uh, your family, and don't give it up, give it up to to no nagging, crying old little woman. All right, for for the woman was created for our sakes, they can help us, you know, not the other way around. All right, 
So you make the final decisions. Hear them out if, if they got a good idea, you know. But if not, don't be afraid to shut them down, all right? So with that, I hope the elect out there was edified. I want to end this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekah HaKwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well. And salutations to the brothers pushing forth this word in truth and in sincerity. Until the next one, brothers, I say Shalom and Abad Babal.